Hey, my name is Jamie Aaron, and in this lesson, I'm gonna show you five repetitive rock licks. So normally when we solo, we wanna come up with all sorts of different ideas. So why would we wanna be repetitive? Well, playing a short repeated figure, a little four or five note pattern, gives the listener something to latch onto. It also allows you to build intensity because when you play something over and over, it allows the band to latch onto it, to become more interactive and to build intensity. And it also just allows you to really emphasize the point you're making with that figure. So I'm gonna show you some licks that are inspired by players like Slash, Joe Bonamassa, and Warren Haynes. Get these under your fingers. They'll be great additions to your lick vocabulary. All right, here's our first classic repeated lick. So I'm playing an E minor pentatonic, and all I'm doing is bending at the 15th fret of the B string. I'm bending this D as if I'm going to an E, but then I go ahead and grab the E here at the 12th fret. Then back to the D, and then to the B at the 12th fret of the second string. And that's the whole thing, and we just continually repeat it. You can play it a few times, you can play it fast. And I'm picking, and then doing that as a pull out. So that D to B, 15th fret to 12th fret on the second string is a pull out. Really great way to build energy and intensity. So here's a similar lick, but going down. So I'm playing the G that's at the 15th fret of the high E string, and I'm giving it a slight bend. Then the E on that high E string of the 12th fret, and I'm picking both these notes, a down stroke on the G, an up stroke on the E, and then a pull off on the second string from the 15th fret to the 12th fret, or D to B. Here it is slow and fast and combined with that first lick. And the most important thing, we all wanna play it fast, right? But the best way to practice these little lines, to play them really slowly, to perfect them, get the picking right, get the bending right, get them sounding perfect, so then you can gradually increase the speed. All right, here's example three. We'll stay in the same E minor pentatonic box. All right, so in this line, what we're doing, we're starting on the third string, and we're starting on this A with your third finger. It's on the 14th fret of the third string, and you're gonna bend almost up to a B. But then, instead of making it all the way there, you're gonna hit this B at the 12th fret on the B string. Then a D, 15th fret of the second string, and then back down to that B on the 12th fret of the second string. And sometimes I actually use my second finger to play that A. It makes it a little easier when I'm playing faster. Once again, combining them all. with a nice blues lick. Here's the fourth example. And for this example, I'm picking every note. So we're playing the key of C minor, C minor pentatonic, and I'm taking my pinky here and putting it on the G that's at the 15th fret of the high E string. And then I'm gonna, this is a bit of a big stretch, but we're playing it high up, so the fret sizes are a little smaller. First finger on the E flat, that's on the first string. Then the F that's on the 13th fret of the high E string. Then back to the E flat. 
and then C, 13th fret of the second string, to B flat, 11th fret of the second string. And this is in triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Quarter note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Triple lit, triple lit. And if you play it faster. We're going to stay in the key of C minor pentatonic. This is an Eric Clapton inspired idea. Works great over a blues shuffle. We're going to play the C at the 13th fret of the second string. And then we're going to go to the 16th fret of the second string. So C to E flat. And then we're going to do a little trill, which is a little pick, hammer on, pull off. So in this little phrase, right here, this little portion of it, I'm just picking once, doing a hammer on and a pull off. Then I'm going to go to the B flat, 15th fret of the third string, and then back to the C at the 13th fret of the second string. One, two, three, four, and sped up. One, two, three, four. Thank you for watching this lesson. I hope it was helpful. Go ahead and try these lines super slow. Really get it perfect sounding before you try to play them fast. That way, any imperfections or mistakes don't get baked into your playing. You can really iron it out and then gradually increase the speed so you have precision in your playing. Once again, my name is Jamie Arrett, and I'll see you in the next lesson. <laughs>